Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let these cute companions at Bountiful Farms in Liberty Town do the rest. When we start the class, I say this is animal therapy and yoga. So do what you want as much of what you want. In 2018, Christy Yingling started Goat for the Soul, a unique way to promote wellness and experience life on the farm while stretched over a yoga mat with a few furry friends. There are so many studies on animal therapy and the body's reaction, the chemicals released within your body, how it's a stress reliever, it lowers the blood pressure. Known as Caprine Vinyasa, or goat yoga, this interactive exercise became popular around 2016. And ever since, working out with goats has become a hot trend across the globe. All right, release the arms, slow rise to the top. Hands will stretch out to the sides. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, hands through heart center, fold. During yoga class, the goats pretty much do anything the goats want to do. So some of them pick somebody and lay down on their mat and won't budge, which the people love. While people hold their yoga poses, the naturally curious baby goats provide a happy distraction, complete with a few snuggles, nibbles, and cuddles. These playful participants love attention, and in return, they're a joyful outlet to help relieve stress. We have some goats that want to be pets, so they go from person to person to person to get pets. And there's always a few in the herd that aren't in the mood to mingle until their bellies are full. We have other goats that aren't feeling it that day, and they're just munching grass, and that's fine too. The Yingling family wants people to experience their farm up close and in person, especially when it comes to their animals. They've been breeding goats since they started farming back in 1999. We started goats initially when my kids were in 4-H. We love to uh, sell our goats to people that want to start goat projects of their own. That's what, that's what we enjoy doing. In addition to selling their goats, Christy is able to share her joy for the four-legged animals while promoting wellness and physical activity. If you'd asked me 20 years if I would be doing goat yoga and, and have this many goats, I probably would have said no. It was a nat natural evolution from the 4-H days to now, and I hear a lot of people say, well, your kids aren't in 4-H anymore. Why are you still doing goats? It's because I love them. Grace and her brother Clay eventually grew out of 4-H, but their love and responsibilities for the farm have continued to grow. The kids have been involved in raising animals in the farm since they were little. They get fed hay once a day, They've got to have the farrier out. Their hooves grow just like the goats do, so they've got to have the farrier come out to have their hooves trimmed. Um, they've got to have vaccines yearly. It's a nonstop, 24-7 job. And if you're going to have a farm and animals, you can't, you can't ignore it. And when it's time for yoga class, all hands are on board. Regardless of where the class is held, a temporary outdoor studio must be set up. When installing the fence, the ratio of goats to participants is important to keep in mind. So we kind of change the size of the fencing here based on how many goats we'll have in there with the amount of people that we'll have in there to allow for enough spacing for the yoga to be accomplished, but also the goats to be around them while they're doing the yoga. Keep the elbows locked into the sides. Inhale, lift the chest. Jennifer Carpenter enjoys teaching yoga outdoors on the farm, surrounded by her clever four-legged friends. They're incredibly smart. Um, they're really independent. They're a lot of fun. Huh. Yeah. Very social animals, pretty close to dogs. For those who need a little more time to warm up, they have the luxury to simply let the animals entertain them. It's just a way for people to relax. They don't even have to participate in the yoga. They can just play with the goats. This was the first time I not only, A, ever thought to put goats and yoga together, but also the first time I've done it. And it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. The most popular position for both the class and the kids is always the tabletop. The excitement of having a baby goat clamber onto your back is contagious. It's the highlight of everyone's social media posts, especially when a goat shows a little love. 
This is my first time doing the goat yoga. I had an amazing time. The weather was amazing. The location is beautiful. All the goats are so cute. <laughs> There's no doubt that Goat for the Soul was indeed a fulfilling experience for both today's longtime yoga enthusiasts and newcomers. I had no idea what I was expecting coming into this, but it was definitely even better than what I would have imagined. <laughs> it's better than therapy. Thank you, Flower. Hi, thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. If you like this story, leave us a comment. If you want to see more, check out our playlists. We've got videos of cute animals, big machines, delicious farm-to-table recipes, and more.